Good morning, students. Now we are discussing about the topic design of controllers for drives. As the name itself, what do you think about design of controllers for drives? As the name itself, design of controller. So we have to design the controller. Okay. So next one is controller. What is controller? So controller means as the name itself. it will control some of the things right it is it is control the it is controller for drives that is we have to control the drives so what is the meaning of drives so drives is here it is a machine that is like a motor okay so we have to control the motor so why we have to control the motor for example now we are going in a bike or a car so we have to increase the speed of the car or motor bike or we have to decrease the speed of the car or bike or we have to go in a normal speed of the bike or car so we need a controller for the drives so to for the controlling the drives we have to design the controller that only we are discussing about in this topic that is a design of controllers for drives so in this controller it have two types of controller first one is the open loop controller second is the closed loop controller so first one is what is open loop controller so already you know that uh, the best example for the open loop controller is a fan second one is the closed loop controller so uh, that also you know that ac so we are using a ac it is a closed loop controller okay so what do you think about open loop controller so we are using a fan with a regulator okay so if you switch on the switches okay the fan will rotate so by adjusting the regulator we can increase or decrease the speed of the fan so it will not depends on the climate condition like a summer condition or winter condition so if you increase the speed it will run in a high speed condition but in ac system we have to fix the temperature so depends on the reference temperature the room temperature will be maintained constant that is a closed loop system okay so you know that closed loop system is a better one compared to the open loop system so next one the closed loop system so it provides first one is the protection second one is the improvement of speed response third one is the to improve steady state accuracy so the first point is a protection what is the meaning of protection why we have to protect the drives because we are using a controller for drives so for the first one is protection so why we need a protection because now the car or bike it is running in a abnormal speed it is running in a abnormal speed okay that is for example the car the maximum speed is uh, for example 1000 rpm but now the car is running in a 1500 rpm so it is a abnormal speed so we have to protect the abnormal speed so we have to need a controller so that is we are using a closed loop controller so we have to fix the car speed is maximum is 1000 rpm so if the car speed reaches or reaches beyond the rated speed we have to control the speed of the car so for that need we need a so it will protect the car that is it will protect the machine so that one is a first point protect so that is when the drive is run Our normal condition, we have to protect the machine, else the machine will get damage. Second one is the improvement of speed response. Improvement of speed response. So response is a responding signal. So we have to improve the speed. Speed response. That is, while increasing the speed of the motor, immediately it should be respond. That is, the immediately it should be respond. Increase the speed of the machine. Or if you want to decrease the speed of the motor, means it will auto immediately. It will reduce the speed of the machine. That is the improvement of speed response by using a controller. Third one is 
to improve steady state accuracy that is steady state condition means it is like a constant speed that is the motor is running in a constant speed so it will now it will it will uh, the speed is not increasing or decreasing we have to maintain a constant speed ratio that is a to improve the steady state accuracy so for this also we have to use a controller okay next so now we are discussing about the black diagram of closed loop system so this one is a simple black diagram of the closed closed loop system so in a normal system means we have the power supply second one is a power converter third one is a motor so this one is a walk on loop system that is the power supply the power converter the motor this one is a walk on loop system so what is the meaning of walk on loop system if you give the supply the motor will run if you give the supply the motor will run there is no controller part there is a no controller part so this one is called a walk on loop system okay but now we are discussing about the closed loop system okay so here we have to control the speed we have to control the speed so we have to design the controller we have to design the controller here we are designing a controller for the speed controller for the speed so in output we have to sense the speed we have to sense the speed so we have a speed sensor we have a speed sensor so by using a tacho generator by using a tacho generator we have to sense the speed of the dc motor next the speed is given to the comparator the speed is a speed is a feedback signal the feedback signal is given to the comparator so what is the meaning of comparator comparator it will compare the signals so we need a two signals so we have to give the reference speed we have to give the reference speed and output output speed so we have the two signal so comparator just compare the two signal and it will produce the error signal if there is a difference between the reference and the output signal so the comparator will give the output to the speed controller the name itself the speed controller control the speed of the motor so the control signal is given to the power converter control signal is given to the power converter what is power converter why you are using a power converter because you know that if you give the supply the motor will run if you give the supply the motor will run then what is the purpose of power converter here the power converter it convert the power that is ac to dc or dc to ac third one is ac to ac fourth one is dc to dc okay so depends on the supply availability and depends on the requirement of the motor that is the dc motor or ac motor we have to use a power converter to convert the voltage for example here we are using a ac supply but here the output is a dc motor so here we have the ac here we have the dc so first we have to convert ac to dc with the help of the rectifier that is the power converter so we have to use a power converter to convert the ac to dc if it is a ac machine or ac machine with high voltage means we have to use a step up converter we have to use a step up converter that is ac to ac but this voltage is input voltage is less voltage output voltage rating is a high voltage so we have to use a step up converter we have to use a step up converter so this is the function of the power supply power converter it is a normal dc motor feedback comparator speed control okay so now we go uh, now we discuss about the operation of the closed loop system so now we are giving a supply so supply this may be i uh, have to assume this one is a ac supply this one is a dc motor so ac is convert into the dc with the help of the power converter so now the motor is running now the motor is running the speed is sensed by the 
speed sensor the speed is sensed by the speed sensor using a tacho generator and giving that giving that signal is to the comparator through the feedback signal so the comparator compares the two signals output output speed and reference speed for example for example now we have to assume that the output speed is a 1000 rpm and the reference speed is a 1500 rpm okay so the comparator now comparing the two signals one is the output signal 1000 rpm and reference signal reference speed 1500 rpm so now it will generate the error signal is plus 500 the end of the signal is yeah plus 500 rpm so this 5 rpm is giving to the speed controller so the speed controller give the control signal to the power converter to increase the speed of the motor to in now the speed controller give the control signal to the power converter to control the speed of the motor so this is the general black diagram of the closed loop system our next topic is current limit control as the name itself current limit control that is we have to control the current we have to control the current okay so last class also we discussed the same black diagram that is in closed loop system first one is we have the power supply second one is the power converter third one is the motor Okay. So already know what is power supply. So it is a source supply source. So it may be the AC voltage or DC voltage. Second one is the power converter. So power converter it may be the AC to DC converter or DC to AC converter or AC to AC converter or DC to DC converter. Then giving to the motor. So if we give the supply, it will convert the power and giving to the motor. The motor will run. So motor will stand due to the load. Okay, ma'am. So load increase means the motor current may increase. So we have to control the current. We have to control the current. For example, if any short circuit condition also or any uh, fault condition also, the motor current uh, motor current may increase. So if the current is increase means the motor will get damage. So we have to limit the current to the up to the rated value of the motor. For example, the motor maximum current is here. to a lamps if the fault is occur in the load means the motor current may increase up to maybe 20 amps so if 20 amps current is flowing through the motor means the motor will get damaged because the winding uh, insert winding will get damaged so total uh, total system will affect so we have to limit the current of the motor so for that we have a sensor current sensor so current current is given to the the current is sensed by the current sensor the current sensor signal is given to the comparator already you know what is comparator you compare the two signal one is the reference signal second is the output signal so the current sensor the current signal is given to the comparator through the threshold logic circuit so here we have to fix the maximum limitable current then after the comparator the comparator output is the error signal it is given to the controller so the controller give the controller will control the power converter that is we the controller will control the switches in the power converter that is the on state signal or off state signal okay ma'am so when for example for example so the rated current of the motor is 12 amps rated current of the motor is 12 amps so the you are giving a supply the motor is running the load is working so now the motor is drawing a 12 amps current so now the time the closed loop is inactive because there is here no changes that is here also 2 lamps the reference also 2 lamps so there is here no changes in the closed loop so it is uh, closed loop system is a inactive system so the motor is running in a normal condition now there is here some fault is occurring in the load side so motor is increased to 20 amps and that is a transient condition Okay. so when the current is suddenly increase when the current is suddenly increase the motor will get damaged so we have to sense the current with the help of the sensor 
and with the maximum value. So the comparator will give the comparator uh, comparator will give the error signal that is minus five. Sorry, minus eight amps. Minus eight amps. So this minus eight amps is given to the controller. So the power converter switches will be turn off. Power converter switches will be turn off. So if the switches is open means there is no supply from supply to the motor because the motor is disconnected because here the switch is a off condition. So the controller will turn off the switches. Controller will turn off the switches. So motor is disconnected. So now the motor is a safe condition. So this is the main function of the or main purpose of the closed loop system. Main purpose of the closed loop system. So already discussed. This is first one is a protection system. First one is for protection purpose. So when there is a damaging, when there may get damage in the motor, we have to protect the whole system. So for that we have used a current sensor and comparator controller. So controller will be turn off the switch. So after um, after detecting the fault, now it now the motor is uh, uh, terminated from the load side. So now the motor is running. So again the sensor sends it is a 12 amps. So again the motor is running in a normal condition. So this is the current limit control. That is we have to sense the current and we have to maintain the current at a maximum level.